Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. And Kash, I'm back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a 3D object in your photo inside the Adobe Photoshop without any other uh, 3D software. So, if you don't know about uh, Photoshop, uh, how you can add a 3D object in your scenes, so in your photos. So, it's the right video for you. So, let's start. I have this simple photo. Open it. So we have this simple photos. So I want to add some 3D object on this photo. So how I can do that? So first of all, if you want to add a uh, text, simple text, we start with simple text. Just take a text uh, layer and just uh, add any text like you do it before now pk so just make it a little bigger so we have this simple text layer i just change the font okay i use arial for now i change the color to any of them so now what we need to do just click on 3d tab and click on new 3d extrusion from selected layer when you do that so as you can see it's automatically convert your uh, text into a 3d text so it's looking great so we fix this position like it look like it's really on this photo in this photo so what we can do there let's make it a bit smaller like that we just position it here so now here is a different setting if you don't have this 3d tab just go in windows and check this 3d button now we have all settings there first of all we have environment next scene camera view we start with the material so here, when you click on null pk 3d layer so here is the option shape preset so you get shape preset default by what we say photoshop so as you can see if i click there so it's give it a cool look so some kind of i don't know what is that so next preset what is this so you can select any of them so so i choose this one i think yeah this is a little bit soft or looking good here so next thing we are material color there is a preset of material you can create your own pre uh, material by changing these settings you can add shine reflection and roughness you add bump map here if you want you can add all map so just simply click here low texture and you can add any of them so in reflection so you can do anything so there is some kind of different material by default so we have this material red looking material this is glass material okay how many there are many material you can use any of them so mm, i use this one brick okay let's try with brick so here we have a simple uh tag 3d tags you can play around these settings for more info so we just change the light setting now just click on this uh, round button so now you can set the direction of the light and you can change the setting so you can increase the intensity or decrease it and you can create a shadow with blurry shadows there we go and there is many options you can just change it to a point mode there is some presets for uh, i go with my custom preset so when you final your text just uh, simply go on 3d and 3 render 3d layer 
it's take little time to render your 3d layer in real environment so next thing so if you don't want to create a text you want to create uh, you can import the 3d object inside your inside the photoshop so how we can do that so we just here new 3d layer from file so i have some obg file this is some kind of okay let me show you so wait for that i have simple file here so okay new layer from 3 file have different stl file it's only work with i think stl or obj you can find all these version 3ds obj stl file so i use this one and click ok so this is my 3d object it's basically um, what we say impossible triangle if you change the view of this triangle as you can see here now it look like uh, impossible triangle so we just hide the text layer for now okay so here we have our impossible triangle so this is stl file so as you can see here you can change the settings a little bit reflection or anything you want click on environment for adding a environment reflection so we just change this texture you can use uh, what we say so you can use any texture like HDRI image like uh, okay I use this simple texture here same photo so as you can see here and draw open setting so as you can see we now we are using the real environment with our object so now we go back to our scene here same 3d rendered 3d layer so it's take little time for rendering your 3d layer so that's you how you can add 3d object inside the photoshop i hope you like this video for more video or if you have any request comment below so thanks for watching bye bye